So what was it about Hamza Chemaev that made you want to fight him? He's not a former champ. He's not, he's not, you know what I'm saying? He hasn't, the reality is he, I mean, obviously he's got a win over you, but what has he, has he won anything? Yeah, it was, um, it was a matter of Hamza came into my division while I'm, I'm at the, on top. I remember he even got, he got into the UFC when I defended my title on Fight Island mm -hmm. versus Masvidal. And he came into the UFC and, and had back-to-back -back fights and just was a storm, a wrecking ball. And everyone started saying, oh, my God, this is the guy. This is the guy. And so still being in the division for a long time and everyone saying, this is the boogeyman, this is the boogeyman. I'm like, wait, do you guys realize I'm still fucking here? I'm the boogeyman. <laughs> I've always been the boogeyman. Always. And I still am the boogeyman. And so it was just a, a thing there to where I wanted to fight him. Yeah. Unfortunately, he couldn't get up to me fast enough. Yeah. To get that a, title a, a miss, shot. Missing, missing of weight. Missing weight. Ramadan. Having a problem. Ramadan and all those different COVID. things. And COVID. He just couldn't get to me fast enough to where uh, we got to have that showdown. So I went in and I told, I sat with Dana and Hunter and I said, hey, give me Hamza. Give me that guy. And they were like, oh... I don't know if it makes sense for us. And I said, give me that guy. They're like, yeah, he's not a welterweight anymore. He's, he's moved up to middleweight. He's already bulking up. He's, he's a middleweight now. So I said, I don't care. Give him to me. Yeah. But at this point, I'm asking because give me a camp. Give me, yeah, let me right. train. Let me prepare and let him prepare. And let's see who the real boogeyman is. And, you know, and they, they weren't really super interested in it. And I even did an interview and I said the same thing. But then... You know, of course, last minute something happens with his fight. They knew who to call because they knew I'm that crazy guy who's willing to. Um, and they call, they ask me, I'm going to say yes. You yeah. tell me, um, here's a paycheck. I'm going to say yes. And so they did so that. That's, so that's how the fight flourished. I mean, now we, flourished. Now, now we now we fast forwarded. Obviously, you went, you went three hard rounds, one to third. And it almost seems like if this was a five round fight. Like Hamza's in trouble, man. Oh, 100%. So now that you're in there with it, because I, I believe there's there's rumors saying that more likely Hamza, that they're, they're trying to target Hamza and Israel Adesanya in the summer, you know, Saudi Arabia. Again, these are all rumors. Now that you've been in there with Hamza Chemaev, I mean, you've tested that. You, you've tested it. My biggest question is, does he have that threshold to go up against a championship fight like a guy like Israel Adesanya? Because you know what? I'll be that same guy too that used to tell you, uh, Kamaru, Hamza's the fucking boogeyman. He, the wrestling, the 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 fact that he can pick dudes up like at will. But there's also a depletion of the gassing. I saw it in your five. Just like okay, true. I, I think um, I think he is a guy that's still learning. He's learning on the job, and it's just magnified so much to where you know everyone's paying such close attention to where it's just harder. It's kind of like a, a freaking what's the kid, the boxer kid named uh, the Disney kid. Uh, well, the, Jake Paul. Jake Paul. Yeah. Are you, you, so, hold on. Are you trying to? Are you so, making a correlation with Jake Paul and Hamza? No, no, no I'm not. Come on, <laughs> relax. <laughs> but I'm saying when Jake, like they, they are in their sport and they, they have doing it at such a, a level to where they have such a magnifying glass on them. Everything they do is going to be big. So Hamza is learning on the job. I think he could eventually learn how to pace himself to be okay, that okay. championship level fighter for sure. How does this fight take place if Israel? Adi Sanya fights uh, fights Hamza Chimaev. How does the fight go down? It, I mean, it's and a, who it's has a, to make the adjustment? Because I have an idea who has to make the adjustment. I'm just trying to get the two cents on you. I think it's um, I mean, it's an intriguing fight, and it depends on which version of the guys that show up. It depends on the version because we've seen, I guess, a different version of Israel in the last fight. We saw a different version of him than the Israel Adesanya we saw versus Paulo Costa. Those are two different people. Yeah. And yeah. so it depends on the version that actually shows yeah. up. And Hamzat's gonna do Hamza. Hamzat's gonna come in there. He's gonna he's gonna is pedal to the metal off start. He's gonna tr get that takedown or try to get that takedown. Speaking of freaking takedown, we're gonna talk about that. You know, he's gonna come in there and get a takedown. <laughs> and and if you can survive. <laughs> You might have a chance, but if you can't survive, yeah, then yeah. I think that's that's where yeah. things go wrong. I, I think I think that I think stylistically it's a great matchup 
for a guy like Hamzat, but experience wise, you have to go with the former champ. You have Absolutely. to go with Israel. You have to go with somebody. He, he catches Hamzat with a few of those kicks. Dude, that, that that strength that you had for wrestling will go out the damn window. 1,000%. You know, and the, the thing is, is Hamza does use a lot of strength, bro. Like, it's not power, it's strength. and he Because he's grabbing a lot. He's You know what I'm saying? Like, there's a lot of... The, the person who's done top control better than all of us is Khabib. But Khabib was really... He spent all of his time. the same reason why his stand-up wasn't pretty. Yeah. His whole investment was just him taking you down and just making sure that you'd never get up. Yeah, and it worked well. It worked oh, it well. Worked. I think um, got him in the Hall of Fame. Yeah, I think it's uh it's something to, that he needs to learn from there. Um, but I think he's learning on the job, and I think he eventually he will he could turn into a championship. Okay, level so fighter. I'm gonna I'm gonna have to ask but, you now, Kamaru. Yeah, who wins? Who wins? And no biased opinion. No bias. What do you mean no bias? <laughs> Everything is biased. I know you got your African Everything shirt right now. Everything is biased. Everything Naija. is biased. Naija. Everything is biased. I I I'm never going to pick against Israel. I don't I don't think I I I've always had faith in, in, in if, what if he Israel can. beats him. Does he stop him? Yes. Okay. Yeah. That's that's the way. It that's doesn't go. Way. It doesn't go decision. I think uh, Israel, Israel beats Israel him. Had to hurt him with Israel knees, finds kicks. finds a shot. Finds the the yeah the shots to sting him, bing, 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 accumulation, get him out of there. Yeah. Because I think Hamza's gonna have a hard time with Israel's length to fight someone that tall, yeah, someone that sharp, someone that knows how to find the angles too, just a little bit of this, slide back, yeah, but let you miss and count. Right, it. right, right. Yeah, but I think Hamza, because he's like this, he's weird, he's a different, he's a wrestler. Yeah, like but, our movement's different. Yeah, but but listen, I found him. Yeah. And and not that I found him. It's but just you also, we know but, but he also respected a lot of the wrestling. True. Like he's he's gonna true. he's gonna go in on Israel. That's the first thing he's gonna do. Yeah. He's gonna run up to him, change his levels, and start going for takedowns. Now now that now now the difference is would he would he be able to hurt a guy like Israel? Because if you don't hurt with his hands, if you don't yeah. hurt him even on top, if you don't hurt on, him or fatigue yeah, him on bottom, like you're in trouble. Like yeah. I'm actually I was a big Hamza fan, but. Watching him not understand his threshold, it's particularly the fight with you. I'm just like, I can see Israel Sanya actually beating him. Yeah, I really can. I, 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 I can I see do. him not just beating him, but actually he stops him. stopping him. He stops him. I think I think for sure Israel stops him just from a championship level. Um, uh, um, just having that championship experience and knowing that a fight builds over time, I think Israel could stop him.